Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are in Lufkin, Texas at the Naranjo Museum of Natural History. Uh, this is a pretty cool museum here in East Texas in the middle of the Piney Woods. I love this animatronic. It's so cheesy and so awesome and kids are going to love it. But I came here because I heard there was a moon rock, which is the largest moon rock not at NASA or any of their places. So you come here, admire it, you know, believe that we were there. So you also have a little gem hall in a vault, which is pretty cool setting for it. You can take a look at all these crystals and polished globes and eggs. I love egg shaped things. It's pretty cool to go there. They also have a section on NASA and space exploration since it is pretty close to the place where the Columbia mission uh, debris field ended up being at when the space shuttle disaster happened back in the 2000s. Um, so this place tries to remember that. It also has some other NASA things that you can look at while you're there, but pretty much it is a memorial to those that died. Here they are. There's that space mission. It was sad. But the premise of this place is the natural history behind it. So you can come here, take a look at some of the Ice Age animals that they have. I like their Ice Age um, exhibit and they're showing all the megafauna, which I've always loved that word, megafauna. This just sounds funny and strong and awesome because I've always loved mammoths. And look at this little stinker here. It's funny. I'm glad they included him somehow. And there's a vicious rhino like to see people try to take that horn but you get to see a whole bunch of different animals that existed here in Texas and some current ones like this bear and this tiger which only exist in zoos but the museum also does a good job at trying to present other cultures and other eras of history such as Egyptian Greek Roman um, it's pretty cool coming here especially if you're a kid and you have no outlet to really explore the world. Coming here will definitely open your eyes and you get to see caveman stuff, ancient Egypt stuff, uh, Native American stuff. It's pretty awesome. There's always something to see, something to learn, different artifacts. I would have loved this museum as a kid. As an adult, I've been spoiled by Smithsonian museums and field museums in Chicago and the big ones in New York. But some small towns can't have that. So we settle for something like this, which is awesome in itself. There's a lot of information, a lot of history in local areas. So I'm always super happy and excited whenever I find that there's a museum in the county or in the city that gives all these kids an outlet to just go there and explore and experiment and check things out. Like, I love it. And this year museum starts with the early Devonian age and traces all the different eras that Texas has gone through through the millions and billions of years. There is a dinosaur section, which is what most people come here for. There's the younger cousin of Stegosaurus and this cool little thing that will chomp your head off if it will let you. I love little rodent looking animals, reptiles, and Demetrodon. My man, Demetrodon, whom I would marry in an instant if he would ask me. I'm not sure what it is about Demetrodon that I love so much, but he comes from the Red River Valley. And there's a spiky collared T-Rex. Weird. But that's a baby Littlefoot, if you've seen the movie. That's how big he was. It makes you wonder. And there's plenty of other things to look at while you are there kids are going to love this T-Rex model and the skull. It's just a great place to take your kids on a weekend or a lazy summer day. And I love this hologram of, I suppose it's Dr. Naranjo, who knows. But there's Triceratops, my favorite. He always took on the bully T-Rex and tiny little T-Rexes crawling out of their shell. So the museum does straddle a fine line between tacky and historic, but I still love it. You should definitely go check it out. And there's a Quetzalcoatlus model, which is huge. Could have easily have sniped you off from the distance and eaten you up in one gulp. 
But if you got the chance to come here, definitely check it out. And this here tells the story of Dr. Naranjo, who was a local boy in East Texas and started collecting fossils and became a doctor and now has his own museum. I want to be like Dr. Naranjo, definitely. And there's an awesome little gift shop. You should check it out. But thank you, Dr. Naranjo, for making this possible. And thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.